they're aware of you now, Dante. So stay low. Lundus doesn't know I exist, so I'll remain hidden until we're ready to strike. Cat knows the virility factor. What lies beneath you? She will be your guide. It'll kill you. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play DMC Devil May Cry. Uh, today we're off to vandalize some demonic CCTV cameras. The camera spotted you. They must have been looking out for you. We'll have to take it out. I know. Here comes trouble. I'm not safe here. Then go. Let's start off with this. Actually, I forgot I, I picked up the stinger uh, streak. For Osiris. I wish they fully committed to the vision that they had for this because uh, they had this malice system worked out, which is like how you get dragged into limbo, uh, how the geometry is like violently pulled apart, and the messages that pop up that you've been seeing, the white text in the environment. Uh, it's all supposed to be like demon generals instructing the lower order demons and, and pulling strings and, and whatnot. Uh, to, to rip the environment apart. And they had this idea to trap you in the combat arenas by just naturally blocking all the exits off with buildings and other other bits of the environment that they were going to uh, uh, pull around. Um, whereas before, it was always the red demon gateways. Also, you can stop these guys from uh, glowing gold and charging at you. You can stop that. Berserker Rush with an Overdrive, or just a regular drive. Uh, overdrive is the max out version of it. Uh, here, they kind of do a little of both. They do the Red Demon Gates, and they kind of half commit to that idea that they had. Uh, they partially seal you in with the level design changing around, but they also finish the job with those black tendrils that you see. Hey, Snake Eye! The geometry being fluid like this is still one of my favorite parts of the art and level design. It's just a fantastic effect. Whoa. Someone doesn't want me here. The city itself is trying to stop you. Great. Virgil sent me the camera locations for this area. Best avoid them if we can. Follow me. So you may have noticed by now. Uh, that large part of the inspiration for this game's story what the hell? comes from They Live. Uh, this thing, we're just gonna blow it away. Nicely done, girls. Uh, they Live is is the one, like, kitschy, rowdy, rowdy, uh, rowdy. Uh, they Live is that, uh, campy Rowdy Roddy Piper movie, uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper and, and Keith David, where they, uh, where he puts on the glasses and he wakes up to the fact that all the elites and the oligarchs and whatnot are actually aliens disguising themselves as humans and, and ruling over everyone. Um, and you can see through the illusion because of the special sunglasses he puts on. It's, it's a campy, fun movie. Uh, it's also got a ridiculously good fight scene between Rod uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper and Keith David. Uh, and it's, like, that surface kind of, yeah, fight the man kind of directionless, generic anger that this game goes for. Like that very puerile, rebel without a cause type attitude. It's all the man. It's like, Mundus represents corporate greed, and he's gonna control the world through debt. But Dante's a rebel. <laughs> he's gonna use his sword rebellion are. to fight the corporate fat cats. This isn't good. It's the walls. Get out of here! I'm not sure if you stick around here long enough if you actually will get crushed and boxed in.
Oh, the Come first on. Frost Knight. This was uh, not well loved. Not even a little bit in the base game. So this enemy has a very distinct blue glow. And the reason for that is because in the base game, you can only harm it uh, with similarly colored weapons, i.e. the angel weapons, uh, of which we only have one right now, Osiris. They have changed this for the Definitive Edition. Uh, so there are both red and blue color-coded enemies. They haven't made it so that uh, the colored enemies are completely vulnerable to opposite colored weapons, uh, but they are partially vulnerable. I think they take half damage or they take full damage from the correctly coded, uh, color-coded weapon. So, blue enemies, angel weapons, red enemies, demon weapons, of which we have Arbiter and Osiris only right now. Uh, and people were not happy with a game that's so ostensibly focused on giving you a lot of options to freestyle with and so variety focused in its combat uh, restricting you in such a manner uh, now for this oh man I mistimed that twice uh, right here I want to show something else that was sort of maligned uh, which is that in the base game so there's an upgrade you can get for both uh, the angel and demon uh, modifiers, and it's a way to modify your dodge roll. Uh, right trigger and roll for demon rolls, left trigger and roll for the uh, the angel version. Angel one gives you more distance and I think iframes on it. The uh, the uh, uh, demon one, if you time it correctly, gives you a speed and damage boost. One more. Uh, and there's also that really, really strong Arbiter combo that you saw. Uh, we already did some of these secret missions. They're not particularly interesting yet. Uh, there are a couple of good traversal ones coming up later. Over here, Dante. We're clear. For the time being. Over here. Never seen a witch use a spray can before. Well, spells can take hours, if not days, to prepare. So why not can it for instant use later? And they do with cheese. <laughs> Where'd you learn this stuff? Virgil taught me the basics of demonology and occultism. Felt a natural talent for it. Said it would help me to focus on something constructive instead of... Instead of what? Instead of focusing on the nightmares. Okay. There you go. Shit. Cops. I gotta go. I'll find you. Take out the camera. Oh, that's such a cool effect. Um, anyway, you can combo the demon dodge, the uh, perfectly timed dodge, with uh, Arbiter's Trinity smash move. And in the base game, that would do so much damage that would it would almost always result in you shooting right up to triple S in the style rank. Uh, and that is partially a result of the way the style system in this one works, which is that it heavily favors large amounts of burst damage when determining what style rank you get. Come on then, you little shits. Uh, Again, in the definitive edition, they have toned that down quite a bit. It still shoots you way up, like, probably more than it should, but Demon Dodge Trinity Smash is no longer, like, an instant triple S. I didn't... I, I felt like that was, by itself, not the biggest issue uh, with the base game. Like, if you want a, an easy way to get style points whatever it's just an extrinsic reward like you're supposed to find all the variety intrinsically rewarding you're supposed to find that fun by itself uh if you're just doing it to like min max the the meter i think you're missing the point a little bit but it was symptomatic of a problem that the game had which is 
out in rank. Just in general. Oop, we gonna fall into that? Nope, not quite. And we either have to kill him or just kind of dance around him uh, because there were too, en too many enemies. I think I got clipped by that. Too many enemies to uh, charge up a drive to hit him with. I think I got clipped somewhere in there. And we're good to go. Yes, we are. That's supposed to be my line. <laughs> On uh, here, we have a uh, couple of green orbs, mid-level heal, as usual. I feel like I may have gotten out ahead of, uh, ahead of the crush imprompt. <laughs> I don't think the game quite kept up there. Oops. God, that's so good. And then it kind of catches you off guard with sending you underground. Ugh. Ugh. Great. Ah, and slightly different setting. You're not coming at me. Could, as you saw before, uh, use the prop shredder from Osiris as an easy, easy parry against those. Uh, okay. I don't. I, I actually can't remember if it's only in hardcore mode. Um, I know hardcore mode does this to some extent, but I don't remember if they also adjust it in the base game. Uh, if they change the timing window on that. Again, I know they do in hardcore mode. I don't recall if it's a little bit tighter uh, normally. Oh, he got frozen by his friend. That actually kind of messed my plan up a little bit. Jesus, I love Osiris so much. It really genuinely is one of my favorite Devil May Cry weapons. I'm so glad DMC Devil May Cry has this. Doesn't have my favorite weapon set, to be honest, but Osiris is just terrific. Oop, oop, oop. So, you know this enemy archetype. Uh, one thing that you can do with it... Oops, didn't pull me over. Right, why would it? I'm dumb. Uh, one thing you can do with them is... Uh, once you pass behind them, their back isn't as armor-plated as the front. So you can topple them over... ...using the Demon Whip, which would normally uh, pull them towards you, but he's too heavy for that. There's something else really fun that we'll be able to do with this enemy type, the Tyrant, later on, uh, once we get a new weapon. I actually really like in DMC Devil May Cry, uh, how... I hate that I have to keep specifying like that. Uh, how there are, like, these really specific weapon-based counters to certain enemies' attacks, like we saw with the Overdrive and the Ravagers. And then we'll get another thing like that later. Dante, run! I am running. It's this cool little extra layer of obscured strategy. I'm kind of like fighting a phantom in, in DMC1. Uh, I think it's the second fight, right? where you can get him to stomp through the glass and impale himself. 
just an optional extra way of dealing with an enemy. I just seem to drag on forever. Church. The police have released footage of the terrorist responsible for the recent attacks at St. Agrius' church. He goes by the name of Dante. Remember his face, people. If you see him, inform the police immediately, but do not approach him. He has a history of physical violence and is a known sexual deviant. This is Bob Barbas. Just doing God's work. And that is going to do it for now. Uh, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.